Hello, beautifuls. This is card number one for the Pick a Pile with my new deck. Um, so this, this deck is really interesting, and it's one of the harder ones to kind of, like, decipher in some senses of, like, even what some of these cards mean, so it's interesting. Um, but the first card here, the Five of Cups, you know, I mean, we start here, we've got this snake wrapped around this guy's neck kind of taking out these cups here these ideas these thoughts that we where we thought we were going and that five of cups is really happening to turn around and and look at other possibilities but we really get stuck on what fell apart on us and so right now it's important to see that some of the stuff that's come undone recently was really to help you even though it may not feel like it right we're kind of sitting in this really heavy energy here where we we feel that heartbreak and that shut down but wherever this deceptive like that that snake energy feels sneaky right like wrapping around the neck here and kind of just weaving in and out just enough to kind of disrupt the accord and so this card is coming out here it's interesting I'm gonna move this over a bit because this card also comes out um, the king of swords here lots of defensive energy um, <clears throat> hiding too right we can't even see the eyes we can't see anything from this being here and so there's this darkness that's showing up and and this is what's being released here and this is what you're struggling to see right now is these things that are deconstructing, these are what we're choking you out. This is the energy that's acting like your friend here. And so now it's coming apart. And it's asking you to look at things from a different perspective. The three of wands here at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> In this one, it kind of talks about three choices that need to be made or something like this um i got this card the other day so i read it from the book but it's kind of like this you know i mean look at we've got these this makes me think about like the the bathtub when you have that tornado at the end it was like always my favorite part about pulling the plug as a kid because you get to watch that little tornado um but that's kind of what makes me think about is like all of this shit's going down the drain and it's interesting because in the five of cups usually there's three cups spilt over and so it feels like there's a few things in your world kind of collapsing and, and going down the drain and stuff like this but you can decide what stays you see how this frog actually holds the line <clears throat> to these boats so you get to decide which one you pull back in if you need to or which decision needs to be made but we can't make all three and that kind of feels the important thing. And this is where I feel like it feels like things are falling apart here, right? Um, but we have to let go of this defensive energy. So there's a lot of lessons being learned here <clears throat> over this last several weeks, especially during that eclipse season. Learning lots about ourselves, about what needs to change in ourselves or who needs to change in our lives many things deconstructing and so in that energy my cat's like watching a bird or something out there so he's all getting worked up right so getting excited about that change the possibilities that could come in don't get too caught up on what's falling apart because this is what you're deconstructing here right these these beings that are like wrapping around your neck and like trying to take you out we have to let go of that energy these people aren't here to help you and you have to pay attention to that be mindful because there is some deceptive energy here so how do you restart make a decision right where are you supposed to go let go of the rest allow the rest to unfold and and take place naturally a lot of this it feels like comes about <clears throat> quite naturally especially if you allow it to go with the flow the more you hesitate and try and fight this energy and and asking for help it feels like too because you're not going to be able to remove that energy fully by yourself right we've got a snake all wrapped up around your neck 
So the more you try and fight that snake, the more, the tighter it's going to get, the harder the circumstances. Whereas if you ask for help with somebody that can kind of hold space for you and kind of pull this apart, right? You're not going to spin as hard and make more chaos, right? And that's this energy here too, this chaos. <clears throat> so what needs to be released? How do you maneuver through this? And, you know, if you don't have those answers yet, really go within and what feels right to you. That's what I really, I always trust is that feeling when something doesn't feel right and that feeling when I feel really called to something, when there's energies trying to shift my perspectives or make me see different perspectives. I take those codes in, but then I also go and I sit with them and be like, okay, what is true for me? It doesn't matter what's true for anybody else. And that's really important is everybody's going to have their perspective because we're all on our own journey, our own mission. And so a lot of people are going to see your side of the story and, and see you as wrong. But that doesn't that might be wrong for them because that's not their mission, but your mission is yours and you know what it is. And this is a thing that I've always been very mindful of, of, okay, I need a break from all of the humans, all my friends. I really need to sit with all these things. And I took in everybody's perspective. I never discounted it. I always kind of just like let it sit in my field, whether they knew it or not, right? And then I really sat with everything. What needs to be done? What is truth for me? How do I go about this? That's how I got here and created this, this shift in dynamics in my world. <clears throat> so, we're just going to pull a couple things out here. Knowing that you can let go of this. I mean, it's interesting because there's that tickle in the back of the throat. And... And it's coming up with this snake, right? So how do we release this energy? <clears throat> we start pulling apart the truths that aren't ours. Send them back. Sit with what you need to do and then make decisions. That's going to be important. So I'm going to leave you with this. If you require a more in-depth personal session, I'll leave the link for my booking information as well as my pendulum course that's out there. That is a great tool for kind of helping you clear that energy as well as get more guidance on how, how what direction to take, what's truth for you, stuff like that. So there will be a link for that as well in the description. So I will chat with you again soon. Take care.